guys, what is up? Thank you so much for tuning in. I am, sorry, in. <laughs> I'm Deborah with Purusha Holistic Wellness, and this is Purusha Intuitive. This Girl Talk card has been popping out a lot in all of our readings. The Dragonfly. All right, we'll see if any of those pop up. So welcome, welcome. If it's your first time here, this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cross watchers are welcome. Lots of energy, guys. Heart with the key. Um, yeah, so I'm doing this <laughs> end of the uh, end of December. Um, obviously, the readings are timeless. If the geez, oh, Petey Pete's. If the message resonates with you, then it's meant for you. All right, guys. The cards are jumping. Let's get into it. Let's see what's up. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Highest and best message. Okay, let's go. All right, there. ooh, very good. I love this. I love when we get that double confirmation. So heart with the key. So this is really about places that, you know, maybe you have been self-protecting. Um, painful relationships that have kind of, um, you know, made it difficult to open up your heart to love but it looks like you either finally have someone in your environment or someone will be coming in soon <laughs> that has the key to your heart i love that you've actually had some really good readings lately pisces uh really good love readings Ooh, yeah so um like i said it's hard right it's hard when we go through betrayal it's hard when people do us wrong we'll look into that a little bit more um i don't i feel like this is past energy yeah totally so you know have you ever heard that saying that the hardest relationship you have is your healthy one after the toxic one? Basically meaning that when we are so used to toxicity, toxic people, places, and things, people who betray us, stab us in the back, bring, you know, drag our name through the mud, etc. It's hard to transition to a healthy relationship, right? Not only do old things get triggered, Anytime we're in relationship, we're going to think about our past, past people, places, things, etc. And I feel like the person that you have in your environment or who's going to be coming in quite soon um, is a really, really, really good fit. It's very harmonious for you. And I feel like you know that underneath. Like, But I also feel like there is... You know, obviously, you're a water sign Pisces. There's a lot of um, feeling and emotion and fear around whether or not this person is going to be like the past. You're taking time, I like this, for yourself to sit, to think, to meditate on what this is, what this energy is for you. Yeah, double confirmation right there. Going within. I think this is really beautiful for you because especially with the hermit, that's uh, Virgo energy, that earth energy is really going to help ground and support you. And I like it because you, it also is that value of listening to your own, you know, the voice within instead of what everyone else has to say around you. You know, people can weigh in on our life, <laughs> you know, until they're blue in the face, but it really ultimately is about you and what you want and your decision at the end of the day, hence free will, right? And this is something that, you know, this old thing from the past, it's hard to erase. It's hard to, you know, um, kind of etch out of your memory. But I feel like this healing relationship is going to help move you forward. Okay. Um, some of this, like not really being certain, not trusting yourself is just like you have a lot on your plate. You're really stressed out. You're working hard to grow and build yourself, which is awesome. But the Six of Wands is definitely more like a self-focus. It's not as much a focus on, you know, your love relationship or like the people around you. You're really trying to like build your own stuff. I love that, especially with that magician energy. You're working your butt off, you know. And a lot of times when we can't take time out for ourselves or we have a lot on our plate, 
it makes it hard to see clearly, right? I think um, Capricorn just got this message. So it's really good, Cap um, Pisces, sorry, that you are taking, like I said, take this time, Four of Swords, it's meditation, it's rest, it's taking a step back. Hermit energy, obviously, is being more self-reliant, spending time with yourself. You are such an intuitive sign, like you're very... Um, close <laughs> to the spirit world, so to speak, your antennae are raised, you know, um, so use that to your advantage. And a lot of times the way we hear those intuitive messages is by quieting down, spending time in silence, in meditation. That's when things get revealed. Um, okay. Okay. Are you telling someone you just want to be friends? <laughs> Are you telling, like, is that what's going on with this person here? It looks like there might be that fear is, like I said, kind of clouding your judgment. Because the way this person is coming in is like, they're having a hard time. Um, yeah, it's messing with them. Lots of water energy over here, you know. This basically talks about... You know, maybe you pumping the brakes on things. You don't want things to move too quickly. And that's not what they want, right? Because they, they know that connection. They feel that with you very readily. Um, and I don't know if they can take a step back, especially if you guys have already kind of passed a certain line in your relationship. Um, if it's already gotten to that point of more intimacy, This is good for them, though, honestly. I think that, um, you know, I, I don't feel like you need to be forcing yourself into anything right now. Because what, you're, what you are creating and building, this might be in your business, your life, kind of your abundance is what I'm hearing. It is a lot of work. You do have a lot on your plate. And so that's why it's like so important to take a step back, cultivating that time for ourselves. Even if it means that we have to say, you know what, I do have to take it a little bit slower. You know, you can have the deepest connection with someone of all lifetimes, right? But if you don't have the time, the space, the energy to deal with them, it like it's going to fizzle out or it's going to create, you know, potentially unhealthy patterns or dynamics between you two. And to me, with this page of coins, I feel like this person does need to be a little bit more patient, you know, because that's the thing. Like, I don't feel like you're necessarily Xing them out. But you're so focused on what you're doing, what you're building, what you're growing. And I think that's important, you know. And yes, I feel like partnership relationship is a part of that for sure. Um, the one downside I would say, though, is it does come through that, like, maybe you aren't creating time for this person. And it is a good thing. And it is why your heart is a little bit blocked right now, you know? And I think this kind of goes back to what you've dealt with in the past. Yeah, there we go. That confirmation right there, the devil. So it, it scares you, you know? You don't want to be back in that energy. You don't want to be with someone who's controlling and manipulative. And you know this, especially with that high priestess. You know this, but you're not acknowledging it right you're kind of, like it's almost like when we're making our decision out of our ego out of fear fear of like what happened in the past not really believing that you can have something good or that this person if it it's almost like when it feels so good it's too scary right it can't be trusted and it's not that vibe of too good to be true I don't get that at all you know it's more like this is a really good fit for you, but it's scary AF, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love this. But I think that, you know, it's, here's the thing. It's going to cause a little bit of tension between both of you. Um, I feel like they're going to push back a little bit on your wishes. 
And that's where I would say Pisces, like definitely be mindful, you know, because, um, yeah, well, here's the thing. I think that if the person is meant for you, they will be able to hear you, understand where you're coming from and also wait for you, you know? Um, not that you are leaving them hanging. I think there is an appropriate way to do that. Keeping the lines of communication open. Maybe you still date them. Maybe you don't date anyone else type thing. Um, but the thing is, is be careful if you keep pushing them away. You guys have this deep love connection. That's the lovers right there. That's like obviously the best card you can get in the deck. And, like, and this doesn't have to just be with, um, you know, love relationship. It is kind of in central focus. Mercury is going into retrograde. It's conjunct with Venus. So basically meaning that our love relationships, our close intimate relationships are going to be coming into focus. But this is basically saying, like, make sure you're not pushing them away. You know, don't block so much that you guys can't even have an opportunity to discover this love because this is a really beautiful connection. But whatever, if you're kind of halting that, pumping the brakes, it's messing with them 100%. They don't want to be friends, right? They don't. But I, and the one thing I will say, my problem with this is I do feel like they need to be a little bit more flexible. I kind of hear that maybe you guys just already have been intimate. And so it's hard for them to backtrack. But you also, Pisces, want to make sure that you feel comfortable and safe in whatever you're dealing with, right? You don't want to uh, push yourself just to make someone else happy because that's not authentic relationship either, you know? I think the message is like, you know, knowing how to deal with this in a smart way instead of um, coming from that ego fear, you know, I think communicating this person like, hey, I'm really busy. I have a lot going on right now. I really like you as well. I also have a lot of trauma from my past. And so how can we find a way to like make all these things work in harmony with each other, you know? Sometimes, <laughs> like, and I mean, you know, no shade. I mean, obviously the flask, it talks about us drinking, um, especially if this person shows up in an immature way, be mindful of that too, because this could also be a test. You know what I mean? Like soulmates don't always have to be our forever person. You know, they're just basically those soul contracts that we've made that we meet this person along the way. And if this person can't show up in a responsible way, you might be testing them a little bit, Pisces, which is cool, you know. Um, if they can't be responsible, if they can't honor your requests, then are they really in alignment, you know? In my personal opinion, I believe that we have multiple soul soulmates, right? That like we create, um, you know, and, and each person comes into our life for certain reasons. And depending on how healed they are, how aware, how open and vulnerable, will kind of dictate their ability to respond healthfully. And this might not happen. Actually, this might be them kind of blocking you, you know, it, almost again, out of that ego thing, right? We mirror one another. So if there is, if your relationship is founded on like drinking, partying, be mindful about that. Um... Because sometimes cocktail substance, it's, what do they call them? Like the drunken goggles or I, there was a dude who used to say to me liquid courage, right? Or, I mean, that's not really applicable, but you know, like a lot of times, you know, it's, it's fun to be friends with everybody or easy to be friends with everybody when cocktail substance are in the mix, right? Um, but when, you know, the next morning comes, it's the sobering, like, does this really work for me? And I feel like that's kind of what spirit is asking of you. But I think you also need to pay attention to, you know, you're feeling your emotion. This is like your learning lesson, your life lesson, Pisces, because you, you know, you can 
fly to the highest heights and go to the deepest depths of your emotion and feeling, you know? And so it's knowing like when your emotions are getting the best of you, when you're reacting out of past wounding, right? Past trauma, fear-based ego. This is ancestral wounding. So this is lineage. So this is a repeated pattern in your family. If you take a moment to think, you can probably uh, see who has played this out, whether, you know, your mom, your grandma, etc. This is definitely embedded in your family. And I feel like, you know, kind of cutting out the places where you might, you know, just self-medicate or the things that end up distracting us from the path that we're truly on. Or, you know, it's the other side that like alcohol makes us way more emotional too. You know, we're more apt to tell the truth, right? You hear the truth from a drunk man, uh, you know, whatever emotions you're feeling inside can definitely come out um, or it triggers that or you get pissed off, you know, angry drunks, right? Like, and no shade, I'm not saying it in disrespect, but just in that value of sometimes we have to eliminate this to have a clearer perspective. And it's, tri like I said, it's triggering a lot of emotions. So just be mindful. Like this might be a learning lesson, especially if this person is showing up very immature at the end of it. So obviously everyone's situation is gonna be different. Pay attention. Um, there is strong love and connection and potential for you guys to really uh, connect on that deeper level. But it's both of you. You both have to be mindful. You both have to be aware of not pushing each other away. You know, spirit can give us this gift, this beautiful opportunity. But what really, what it really comes down to is how aware we are, um, you know, and of, of understanding kind of, you know, where we're at with our own woundings, our own struggles, and how we're bringing that into our partnerships. So I hope this helped, Pisces. Uh, you know, I do, sorry guys, I do readings. Um, lots of, <laughs> I say this like a million times, so I get kind of like, I, for some reason I'm getting a little tongue time today. But anywho, if you want me to look into your situation, I would totally be honored. I would love to support in whatever way. Check out what services I provide. They're all in the box below. Um, make sure to like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate your time and energy. Sending lots of love and blessings to you. Happy New Year, guys. Thanks for tuning in.